Good afternoon, learners, grade 12s, and welcome to this afternoon session of mathematics. What are we going to be doing this afternoon? We're going to be doing that very last question that you have in trigonometry, which is the sin rule, your cos rule, and your area rule. But before I start, I want to welcome Mordedom Secondary School. I want to welcome Mount View School, Sinenyongo High School, and then Allo Secondary School. Welcome to this afternoon session. And I hope that after today's session, you will understand how to use the sin rule, the cos rule, and the area rule. Now, why do we use the sin rule and the cos rule and the area rule? We use it to find the lengths of sides, the sizes of angles. Now remember, if you have Pythagoras, you could find the length of sides, but remember that only worked in a 90 degrees triangle, and then you should have two sides. But the sin rule and the cos rule, you can use in any triangle to find the lengths of sides and the sizes of angles. Now, what we're going to what I'm going to start with is to first just show you what the sine rule looks like and what the cos rule looks like. Okay. When you look at what I've written down here, if you're using the sin rule, it's the sin of A over small a equal to the sin of B over small b. Now, what is the big A and the small a? How must you know? The big A and the big B are your angles. And the small a and the small b, they represent your sides. If I could just draw a quick small triangle grade 12s. If I have that triangle there, and that is a, b, and c. These are your angles. They are your angles. And the small a will be the side opposite the angle A. So this will be small a. That is angle B. That will be small b. This is angle C. So that will be small c. So everybody, I hope you understand what the big A represent. Again, the big A represents the angle and the small a represents the side. When I go to the cos rule, I just wrote it down quickly. The cos rule again says a squared equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos. Look at this, everybody. If you start with small a, your angle is going to be big A. The b and the c represents your sides. That is my side. That is a side. The angle a is the big A. Now, I cannot start our examples with, before I don't tell you, when do you use the cos rule? When do I use the sin rule? And only after that, we're going to go to our examples in our books, and then we're going, un going to understand it slightly better. Now, I, at my school, I teach my students, only know when to use the cos rule. And then if it's not the cos rule, then you know that you must use the sin rule. Now, grade 12s, listen very carefully. The cos rule is used, listen, and I want you to write this down with me. I didn't want to put it on a PowerPoint because I want you to write it down with me. The cos rule is used, number one, when you are given three sides, when you have three sides, when they give you the values of the three sides, write it down with me, when you have three sides, and number two, when you have two sides and an included angle, two sides and an included angle, I want you to write this down, Okay, so when can I use the cos rule? When I have three sides, they've given you the length of three sides, then you must go find an angle. Or when you have two sides and an included angle. Now, many of you this afternoon is most probably thinking, what is an included angle? Look at my sketch. There's my triangle. If I have three there and I have four there, 
and you are given this angle. Say, for instance, they say this is 62 degrees. This is an included angle because it is in between the two sides that they gave you. This angle won't be included because you have your three, you have your four, and that angle is in between the two sides given. Let me show you another example of an included angle. If I sketch this triangle for you quickly, green is my favorite color, and I give you four, and I give you this side, which is five. Where will your included angle be? Just think quickly. This is my included angle. So an included angle is in between two sides. So when can I use the cos rule? When I was given three sides and when I have two sides and an included angle. Okay.